Pervasive Developmental Disorder Not Otherwise Specified, Wikipedia Article Audio A pervasive developmental disorder not otherwise specified is one of the four autism spectrum disorders and also one of the five disorders classified as a pervasive developmental disorder. According to the dsm 4 PDDNOS is a diagnosis that is used for severe and pervasive impairment in the development of reciprocal social interaction or verbal and nonverbal communication skills, or when stereotyped behavior, interests, and activities are present, but the criteria are not met for a specific PDD or for several other disorders. PDDNOS is often called atypical autism because the criteria for autistic disorder are not met, for instance because of late age of onset, atypical symptomatology, or sub-threshold symptomatology, or all of these. Even though PDDNOS is considered milder than typical autism, this is not always true. While some characteristics may be milder, others may be more severe. Signs and Symptoms it is common for individuals with PDDNOS to have more intact social skills and a lower level of intellectual deficit than individuals with other PDDs. Characteristics of many individuals with PDDNOS are PDDNOS is an old diagnostic category. It is no longer included as an option for an autism spectrum disorder and is not part of the DSM-5 but is included in the ICD-10. Diagnosis The diagnosis of a pervasive developmental disorder not otherwise specified is given to individuals with difficulties in the areas of social interaction, communication, and slash or stereotyped behavior patterns or interests, but who do not meet the full DSM-4 criteria for autism or another PDD. This does not necessarily mean that PDDNOS is a milder disability than the other PDDs. It only means that individuals who receive this diagnosis do not meet the diagnostic criteria of the other PDDs, but that there is still a pervasive developmental disorder that affects the individual in the areas of communication, socialization, and behavior. Subgroups as for the other pervasive developmental disorders, diagnosis of PDDNOS requires the involvement of a team of specialists. The individual needs to undergo a full diagnostic evaluation, including a thorough medical, social, adaptive, motor skills and communication history. Other parts of an assessment can be behavioral rating scales, direct behavioral observations, psychological assessment, educational assessment, communication assessment, and occupational assessment. Treatment Description of PDDNOS merely as a sub-threshold category without a more specific case definition poses methodological problems for research regarding the relatively heterogeneous group of people who receive this diagnosis. However, it appears that children with PDDNOS show fewer intellectual deficits than autistic children, and that they may come to professional attention at a later age. Studies suggest that persons with PDDNOS belong to one of three very different subgroups. There is no known cure for PDDNOS, but there are interventions that can have a positive influence. Early and intensive implementation of evidence-based practices and interventions are generally believed to improve outcomes. Most of these are individualized special education strategies rather than medical or pharmaceutical treatment. The best outcomes are achieved when a team approach among supporting individuals is utilized. Some of the more common therapies and services include Communication difficulties, difficulty with social behavior, difficulty with changes in routines or environments, uneven skill development, unusual play with toys and other objects, 
repetitive body movements or behavior patterns, preoccupation with fantasy, such as imaginary friends in childhood. A high-functioning group whose symptoms largely overlap with that of Asperger syndrome, but who differ in terms of having a lag in language development and slash or mild cognitive impairment, a group whose symptoms more closely resemble those of autism spectrum disorder, but do not fully meet all its diagnostic signs and symptoms, the biggest group consists of those who meet all the diagnostic criteria for autism spectrum disorder, but whose stereotypical and repetitive behaviors are noticeably mild. Visual and environmental supports, visual schedules, applied behavior analysis, social stories and comic strip conversations, physical and occupational therapy.